something stink. Yeah, I JFF. Definitely fucking JFF. <laughs> Welcome everybody, welcome back to the channel fam. Listen, we're we'll gonna get right into it. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new, please. Um, we're we'll gonna jump right into the meat of the matter. So referee, blow the whistle. Let's go. Listen, it's been it's not even been 24 hours since J J JFF dropped the squad for the Copa America, and I have my thoughts on that squad per se specific thoughts matter of fact two specific thoughts i don't give a crap about alex marshall i don't give a crap about damian low moving into the midfield so he gets a little more midfield security we'll not talk about it maybe we talk about another time right i have two points to make in that squad right number one why is michael antonio in the squad is he hurt is he injured is he fit because the first game they played in the um, World Cup qualifier, he played that game. I think he played a full game, 90 minutes, 80 something minutes, whatever. But he played that game in Jamaica. But he didn't show up for the second game in Dominica. I know the field was shit. Was it because the field was shit? He didn't want to risk him to get injured? Was he injured before in that previous game? Or did he rest him and bring him back for the squad? Because Mikel Antonio is on that list to play. The communication from JFF is shit. So... Please tell me why was Mikel Antonio missing in the, in the second game, but he's in the squad for the next game. Communication from JFF and Coach Al Gimson has been shit. Maybe I missed it, so please tell me in the comment section what do you think? Is he injured or not? You tell me. Please tell me in the comment section, do you think he is injured or is he not? Because he's in the squad right now, so please tell me. Please tell me. No to the creme de la creme. The meat are the matter. The peak of our existence. You know, the glory of football. Leon Bumbleclart Bailey. Leon Bumbleclart Bailey and him like a friend, him coach, him daddy, whatever you want to call him. No, why was Leon Bailey on the team? No, I told you guys in previous vid videos after Leon Bailey come out of this and say, so, oh, we're not playing for Jamaica no more. We want to open the military health. Oh, we want a team. We want a... We want a, a a sweet or a sweet by himself, you know, if you're sharing a room with nobody else, that kind of stuff. Say, no, I play for Jamaica no more. I'll take a mental health break. And I said, he should not play for in any qualifiers. He should not play in the Copa America. And he definitely should not play in the World Cup when, if I make, we make the World Cup. And fast forward to, to last night, and I saw the, 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 the Twitter um, post from JFF say, Liam Bailey is on the forward lineup. And I'm like, what? What? And I sat on it for the whole night. And I make a short video this morning about why JFF put Liam Bailey on the fucking list. Now, JFF and Coach L, you guys are talking to each other, yeah? You guys are corresponding to each other left and right. So you guys must have had an agreement to put Liam Bailey on the list. So that means that you might, you guys must have talked to him agent, him so-called agent slash daddy. What was the conversation like? What was the conversation like, Coach L? Are you telling me are you sitting here and telling me that you made a decision to put Liam Bailey on the team without Liam Bailey's correspondence? Because not uh, not even 12 hours later, Liam Bailey put up on him in social media misinformation, some shit like that. And then, and then, just like clockwork, him coach slash agent slash daddy, go up on Instagram or wherever and sign out all sorts of stuff. Liam Bailey will not be on the team. He has, you know, this and that and that and this. But I heard from coach, from from um the coach's desk that them have demands of Mr. Speed. Mr. Speed need to go. Them have the fans of them players being on the national team. If not, Liam Bailey will not be on the team. Liam Bailey is saying that he has mental issue, mental health issues. He has issues with them putting other players, players in him in him sweet in my in my, in my relax and then oh jeff is not playing my sort of shit but 
if agents say no, Leon, speed now, speed have to get rid of, Fame players have to come on the team too, and us, Leon Bailey alone. Who the fuck do you think you are, fam? That's a number one for you. You are a coach slash organizer slash whatever of, of Phoenix. You're doing good stuff with Leon Bailey and other players. You don't demand who, what players play for JFF. No, JFF a shit, complete shit. Them for go But you, you don't determine who plays for Jamaica. The coach determine who plays for Jamaica. That's the number one. Number two, Leon Bailey, he didn't make football. Leon Bailey, football was invented for you. You're just a tool that plays football and make money out of football. You I'm not the one that created football for Jamaica. So when you talk about, oh, me not play for Jamaica no more, because them forgive me more and sweet, them for this and for that, fuck you, fam. Fuck you and fuck everything you stand for, bro. Jamaicans are here to watch football. Just like I watch track and feel every, every two years, every four years. We watch football for joy and for laughter. Because you're Jamaican. Just like all Americans love NFL and, and football as well. Listen, brother, you only have one life to live, bro. I did live it to the fullest so you can fuck off with your coach or with the daddy or whatever you want bum buckle I'd call him. Because at the end of the day, we are here to watch football. We don't give a fuck about what you want to feel, what you want to smile, you don't want somebody else in your suite, you don't want payment, you want this. Fam. 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 <laughs> Listen. JFF, Coach Al Gibson, try to remember. Jamaica football was here before Leon Bailey. It's here right now and it will be here after Leon Bailey. No, I understand that you might rate him. I don't. This man has 10 goals last season, 9 assists. It's best return all the time I play football. You know how long I play football? From 2016. His best return was last year. You know him the, last, the year before? One goal. The year before that? Four goals, four assists. The year before that? One goal, two assists. Yeah? So... What he does in Jamaica, totally different. Because when come play for Jamaica, he don't do nothing. You try one, one or two plus and it don't work out and I eat that. Get on one salad down the line. Oh my God, look on that salad there. Oh, nobody. That's all him do for Jamaica. He don't score no goal. He don't do nothing. Nothing he don't do. I cannot remember a decent game when he played for Jamaica. I'm like, yes, Leon Bailey, you are a boss. Damari Gray come for Jamaica. And Damari Gray score goal after goal, win match after match. What has you done for Jamaica, fam? But what, what Jamaica do for you? What have you done for Jamaica? For them talk about, yo, people, I'm going to tell you this straight. I'm going to tell you this straight. I'm going to tell you this straight. Listen, stop with the, you know, pretty talk and, oh, I have to talk straight and plain so that everybody can understand that we're not against Liam Bay. I will tell you what I feel. I'm going to tell you straight up. Leon Bailey and him bum buck or coach slash daddy, whatever you want to be, feel away from Jamaica football. Because I told you already, I'm going to tell you again. Copa America, he's not going to play. Qualifying for the World Cup, he's not going to play. But I guarantee you, I guarantee fucking tell you that he will come back just before the World Cup, if we make the World Cup, and say, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm good now, mental health good now, because he want that publicity there. He want that publicity there, remember Leon Bailey at 26. After this World Cup, Jamaica might not make another World Cup. Liam Bailey at 26. He not have much time left in a football. And to require, if you rely on speed and nothing else, it's going to drop. And before you know it, it's going back again. Liam Bailey, Liam Bailey, and your coach slash daddy. Fuck off here. Make a focus on football. Make a focus on football. Coach L, Coach H, make a focus on football. Thank you very much, people. Bless yourself. Bless up others. Manners.